it's such a great pleasure for me to be in Dubai and to address this group. Uh, the topic or the title of my talk I chose is the, the new work and new skills in the fourth industrial revolution. Fourth industrial revolution, we are at the turning point, whether we're talking about politically, economically, or socially. And some people call it the fourth industrial revolution. And that, in fact, was the topic of the annual meeting of the, the Davos, the World Economic Forum held in Davos about a month ago. What are the, the, the specific uh, characteristics of the fourth industrial revolution? How is it different from the past industrial revolutions? There are at least three things which start with S. The first one was the speed, exponential growth, and the second one is the scope. We used to talk about biology and IT in a separate world, but technology combines all these things. The scope is getting much more merged, and it also has the impact on the total system. So in other words, it will impact how we live, how we work, and how we enjoy our life. So the system impact is pretty tremendous. And in addition to these three C's, uh, three S's, we do have another one, and that is the boundaries seem to be disappearing. One of them is the boundary between human and machines. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you know about half of the jobs which exist today are going to be replaced by the robots and the AI. So there isn't that much of a distinction between man and machine. And another is that the distinction or the boundary between us and others, me and others, you and others. What I own, what I own, you can share. So that's a shared economy. And so that's the, the boundary that's disappearing as well. And the, the question is that we don't know which way it's going to go. Even though you go to this annual meeting of the World Economic Forum where the experts gather, there isn't any consensus as to which way we're going to go. And so, you know, there isn't any clear direction that we can follow. There isn't right approach to the, uh, the question. However, we have quite a few things which, uh, which really impact how the, the value is created. What is perceived to have value today in the market? That's an experience and a system. What kind of experience do I have rather than be the hard product? What kind of, uh, you know, how our life is going to be less costly, more convenient, and fun? Take a look at the Uber, Airbnb. I mean, these are not the, the sort of technological breakthroughs. They are the platforms. They are the new business model. They just put together the things which are already available. And that's what it is. That's where the, the value comes in. So the rules of the industry or the rules of the competition in many industries are changing very quickly and very drastically. So what do we do? Those good old days are gone. So some people want to go back to good old days where everything is stable. So we can go back and we can just kind of take it easy once we figure out what's, what's going on. But don't ask for stability. Take the other change and embrace the change because that's the only way that you can stay competitive. Let me share with you what we have found out at the Global Agenda Council on Future of Jobs. We sent a global survey to uh, HR senior executives throughout the world to find out what are the factors which disrupt jobs and employment up until 2020. And we thought it would be technology, but what they found out was that the, the new work style and flexible work. And that's very interesting because that's enabled by the technology, but at the same time, that's a change of the social values and value systems. So naturally, we do have the technological things, such as uh, mobile phone and the cloud technology, which enables the new work styles. But that's not just it. And one of the critical skills that are going to be that are going to be required more so than the technical skills up until 2020, that is the social skills. Why? Because you know the technical skills needs to be complemented by the social skills because we need to collaborate with the kind of people who are very different from different nationalities and from different perspectives and from the different expertise. Unless we have social skills 
complementing the technical skills, we cannot get there. So, and we, we also find out that we really need to de redefine the job. It's not going to be a full-time job for the established big corporations. That's going to be good for the rest of your career. It's a multiple jobs, and you need to uh, redefine the, the job into the, the collection of activities so that it can be distributed through the, throughout the world and can be uh, taken up by the individuals of different skills throughout the world. So those days of full-time for the established companies is over. I would like to suggest that you create the environment where the individuals can develop to their full extent to, uh, working on the other projects and let the individuals rather than the organization shine in those. And we need a lot of different people throughout the world uh, from the different origin and the different expertise, young at heart and different kinds of people because we need differences in diversity to, to keep competitive. And we, I really would like to encourage you to let them experiment and prototype because we don't have any right solution or right approach to the solution or one single solution, one single solution answer today. We need to prototype and we need to experiment. What's going to happen to the organization? It's going to create a lot of tension and it's going to create a lot of conflicts because we're dealing with different kinds of people. But that's how you stay competitive. That's who you, how you can maintain your competitiveness because it's very difficult to emulate. So my suggestion to you is that I think the SMEs are in great position to embrace the change and to figure out how you recruit people from all over the world rather than stick to this kind of set of human capital that the big corporations have. So I think, you know, this era is all yours. Thank you very much.